Sammy's cat hair. <laughs> it happens. I'm a cat owner. Shut up. I'm a pet owner. All right. I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a pet parent or whatnot. Okay, guys. So we have ourselves one of my favorite types of videos, which is the kind of video that I didn't plan. I have no idea was going to be in store for today. I do have some information that I want to share with you guys towards the end of the video, which is uh, going to be about the asshole who tried to steal all that money from me via wish.com and he hacked my cards and all that shit. So I got to go to the post office and get a new card. So we're going to do that. That's one thing we're going to do today. Hopefully my cards will be there. To be, to be completely honest with you, I have no idea what's going to happen, but uh, I do know it's going to be fun. Box up in here. Yeah. Thanks, friend. I know that's right. <laughs> you have a good day, man. <laughs> Dope ass dude, but he came in through the exit on accident. I would have warned him, but I wasn't paying attention either. <laughs> hoping that my cards are in here. Let's see. No, no, no cards in there. Nope. This feels like a card. <gasps> it's here. <laughs> it's here. Oh, my credit card. Mm. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's go, um... Let's go buy an island. We have our money now. I can't even afford a hotel in a game of Monopoly. Let me stop playing. I tell you what, guys. One thing is for certain. I'm going to Honey and Bacon, and I'm gonna get myself an iced latte, iced vanilla latte. I haven't had Honey and Bacon in a couple of weeks because of my money situation, and I'm craving it, and I need it. So, I don't know. I'll see you guys when we get there, I suppose, right? All right. All right, y'all. Actually, you need to see this. I'm walking on. That was the Sunset and Vermont. The Scientologists are out. They're shaped like they're shaped. They're dressed like flight attendants. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. I think they got somebody already, so we might be good. I just seen them talking to a family right there. We might be safe. Oh, there they are across the street. Have you ever heard about this? Uh, no, thank you, dear. Uh, do you know what it is? Yeah, this guy's with the Scientologist. Yeah, yeah no, thank you. Well, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm a bit religious and Scientology isn't for me. Thank you, dear. See? See? Do you see? Do you see? God damn. I tried to pretend like I was looking at my phone and he still came to talk to me. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm not really religious, but I'm definitely not going to become a Scientologist. They are really aggressive out here. They're like Jehovah Witnesses on the street. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> They're really pushy. Whew, anywho, let's go get some honey and bacon, shall we? And we are here. So honey and bacon is actually right in front of me. Let's go in. I haven't been in here in so long. When you see the yellow chairs and table, you've made it to the right spot. Hey! hey. I haven't been here in forever. I'm so glad to be here. Hey, Andre. Woo, it's so good to be here, guys. I haven't been here in a while because my credit cards, I don't know if you saw, but I got hacked. So I had to wait for new cards and because my bank isn't here, I, they had to mail it to me. Mm -hmm. So I haven't had access to my accounts in like two weeks. And I was like, the first place I'm coming is Honey and Bacon. And I said that you guys saw me say that on my Instagram story. Now I'm here. <laughs> I want the largest vanilla iced latte. Do you have a bucket? that you can put. <laughs> gotta make them the most time. <laughs> I know, right? Good God. Hey, how's your mom? How's she doing? She's yeah? yeah? That's good. Everybody, well wishes to Teresa, because she's 
She's going through some things. I'm not going to tell you none of your damn business, but just well wishes to her, okay? She's one of the co-owners of Honey and Bacon, one of the people who allowed us to go to the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. So lots of prayers and good wishes to my good friend, okay? The Smile Squad. That's right, the Smile Squad. See, this is how he knows. <laughs> What's up guys? So we are back in my lovely, luxurious studio apartment. No, it's none of those things. At least not what I've done with the place. Anywho, we are back in my apartment and I, you guys remember a few videos back, I did a video about the 19 Crimes wine. It was this bad boy, which is now sadly empty. And remember I was trying to find the, um, the, the app or whatever and I couldn't find it. Then I uh, talked to a friend about it and they were like, oh, it's this. And I was like, oh, okay. So I found it and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and experience this together. I don't know why I said it like that. Together. Okay. All right. Let's click it. Oh, okay. Now we're on to the app. It's doing this loading thing. Maybe it won't take that long. Oh, we're going to skip. All right. Scan label. All right. As a soldier, I fought for country. As a rebel, I fought for cause. As a man, I fought for freedom. My name is James Wilson, and I fight to the end. Wow, that's... <laughs> I'm not ashamed to speak the truth. Oh. I was tried for treason. It's got more to say. Banished to Australia. Yet I challenged my fate and brought six of my brothers to freedom. You got more? Think that we have been nearly nine years in this living tomb since our first arrest and that it is impossible for mind or body to withstand the continual strain that is upon them. One or the other must give way. Oh. What? As a soldier, I fought for country. Oh, okay. Get this it. As a rebel, <laughs> I fought for cause. As a man. That's creepy. I fought for freedom. That's so weird. My name is James Wilson. It keeps going even when you put I it down. Fight to the end. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to like I am not Oh shit. <laughs> the truth. I was tried for treason. Oh, okay. <laughs> to That's still cool though. Subscribe. Just trying to make sure this motherfucker just don't start talking in my hand. Shit. <laughs> if you guys missed the 19 crimes video that I did when we got this dark red, the banished wine, I'll go ahead and put that link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that video out. I wish I had realized that the app, that that was the app, because I actually saw that when I was looking for it, but I thought it was the wrong thing. I was looking for 19 crimes, you know, so that's, that's my fault. I should have read because it says it on the damn bottle, but whatever. We did it today. Eh. <laughs> I ain't perfect. Speaking of crime, guys, remember when I did a video not long ago? It's like a live video. It's like a couple of weeks ago and I was telling you about how someone hacked uh, my debit card and they spent $432 on wish.com. Well, I found out who they are and I'm gonna share it with you right now. This is the man right here. Uh, he actually has several names. I can't pronounce two of them, so I'm just gonna put them down here. I am sharing this with you, not only to be like, yo, fuck this dude from, from stealing from me, but also to warn you. Many of you may know this man, Many of you may not know this man. I don't know, but he's a fucking thief and he's a piece of shit and he does have a rap sheet. From what I got on here, let me pull it up. He lives somewhere in the San Francisco area. He's got priors that include check fraud, DUI, writing worthless checks and uh, larceny. And I guess he's gone ahead and graduated, you know, to, uh, to hacking people's cards and stuff. So be extremely careful if you get any emails or DMs or anything like that, that that supposedly from a friend of yours, do not click it. Be very careful. Immediately delete it and block their asses. Block them and delete it. 
I made the mistake of opening something that was sent to me on my um, on my DMs on one of my social medias, and it was from someone who I really don't talk to that much, but I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I guess I just wasn't. It just really pissed me off. That's the motherfucker right there that stole from me. Also, <laughs> dude, fuck you from trying to steal from hardworking people. I don't make that much money. You know what I'm saying? You literally wipe my shit out. I don't make that much money. I work hard for the little money that I get. And that really pisses me off that you did that or that anyone would do that to anybody. You know what I'm saying? You want to buy a bunch of worthless shit off of wish.com? Use your money. How about that? Get a fucking job. Oh, maybe you can't get a job because of all the crimes you commit and you keep doing it. That's not my fault. Your problem is not my problem. Fuck you. I told you guys I would find out who it was, and I did. Best believe, charges are pressed. Speaking of crime, <laughs> uh, my boss told me about this really cool app. It's called the Citizens app. It's a Citizens app. It's pretty much the neighbor's app on crack. That, that's the best way to describe it. Let me go ahead and pull it up on my iPad. Pretty much how this app works is that you sign up and whatnot, and it tells you about crimes going on in your local area. Right now, I've got one alert that's nearby, and it says there's a structure fire nearby. It actually gives you the actual address of where these crimes are, which is kind of fucking creepy. But and it also gives you updates from uh, police, firefighters, and any other anyone else who's involved with whatever the activity is. And if you're a member on it, you can like leave comments and things like that. And if you're in the area, you can also like take video footage or uh, live video or photos and share under that particular uh, activity. And people who have the app can take a look at what's going on. And it does help me because I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna go to a 7-Eleven once and I checked this app and the one that I was gonna walk to actually was just getting robbed. And I was like, oh, not today. <laughs> Thanks, citizen. It, it's, it's some crazy shit because before this app, I didn't realize all this shit was going on. It's, it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's helpful. You know what I mean? So it's heapy. Yeah, that's helpful and creepy. You All right, cool. Subscribe. Here's another fun thing about this app is that I can see what's going on in uh, many areas around me just by going to Citizen News. You can do Global, Austin, and all these other uh, cities that you see here, and they are in the throes of adding more cities to it. So we can go, vo we can go Global. Let's see, Officer Verbally Assaulted. So I kind of want to click it, though. <laughs> What's this about? It is what it is, darling. Green light. This is in Baltimore. Oh, you want me to rotate my phone? Well, this is someone a part of the Citizens app sharing it. It's pretty much like a true crime. <laughs> it's like a true crime social media almost. And here are people on here that are leaving comments and whatnot, you know, about what's going on. You can go to the details and get caught up. And this is when the incident was reported. What the fuck? All right, incident reported. This was yesterday. Um, it says yesterday, 815, police are forming a perimeter in an area because they're saying that there was an incident reported where there was like a hostage. This is in Little Tokyo. And it says, police have possibly detained a suspect, but believe there may be pedestrians in the way of harm in a nearby building. This is unconfirmed. At 8.29 p.m., it says, nearby streets are being blocked off to pedestrians and traffic. At 8.32, LAPD SWAT respond to a report of a man armed with a rifle in a nearby building. This escalated to, into a situation involving four hostages. At least one suspect has been apprehended. The status of the hostages is currently unknown. Yesterday, and this is this is last night, at 8.42 p.m., LAPD has not provided any additional updates. And then at 9.22 a.m., upon contacting the LAPD's Media Relations Department for updates on this incident, Citizen was informed that there is no record of a hostage in the area. After all of that. <laughs> but it gives you all the updates, and there are over over 500 comments on this. Now, I will let you know this. All this stuff is only good for about 24 hours, but there's so much crime going on. It's just constantly 
up, you know, it's, it's constantly updating itself. There's a nearby incident, a search for a missing 82 year old man, a group fight at the park around the corner from me, nearby incident, residential burglary, attempted vehicle theft, a report of men uh, wielding guns, shots reported, person stabbed. Gee, I, just LA, okay, good God. This app is freaking me out. Today, today just turned into just professionally silly true crime was popping. <laughs> I normally discuss stuff like this on my um, on my podcast. So yeah, we, we got some cool things coming in the future. I tell you what. So let's go ahead and get to one of my favorite parts of the video. Where we go ahead, take a look at your comments from one of my past videos. The video that we're going to be taking a look at is, uh, is called So This Happened, dot, dot, dot. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the first comment. The first comment is coming from one to Dre and one to Dre says, really dope video. You have such pleasant vibes. I mean, I, I cannot argue that. <laughs> You're right, I do. Thank you, love. <laughs> then we got one, uh, another comment coming from uh, Natia or Natia Davis. I'm thinking it's Natia Davis. And uh, Natia says, you need to be Bay ASAP. Sweet. I need to be bae. Don't say that. Don't tell me that. You're going to make my hair get big as fuck. Don't tell me I'm cute because if I, if, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> You're going to create a monster. All right. So our next comment is coming from Nicole Williams. And Nicole says, the scooter ride videos are so satisfying to watch. I don't know why, but it's so relaxing. I wish I could like this a hundred times. Girl, me too. I could use the likes. <laughs> Speaking of like, make sure you go ahead and you click the like button of this video to support myself, this channel, and this video if you have not already subscribed. What are you doing? Why haven't you done that? Look at that sexy red button, just lonely, just waiting for your finger to just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, make sure you guys are protecting yourselves, you know, online and uh, protect your money, protect your lives, protect all your shit because there are people out there like that asshole that we talked about earlier who want what's yours, who will fuck up your debt and fuck up your future just so they can get small things that don't even fucking matter. Also guys, I have another wonderful donor from Kenneth Stanley. Thank you so much for your donation. I got it via PayPal the other day and I really, really appreciate it. Cause I understand, you know what I'm saying? You guys are broke, I'm broke, I understand. So if you cannot donate to the Professionally Silly channel, I ain't gonna hate on you and I ain't gonna talk shit. For those of you who do, I fucking love you. You have saved us. You know, but no pressure. Uh, <laughs> I also got another interesting random text message from my Google Voice number, which is down below in the description box. And I don't know who it came from because they never told me their name, but the random text message said, random text, but you are fucking amazeballs. That's what it says, legit. You guys are so supportive and I really, really, really appreciate it. You know, and you don't have to donate. If you can just click the like button, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Comment below, share your favorite videos with your friends and family. That shit don't cost you nothing but time. And it's like a couple of seconds. So that will be uh, another show of support as well. Speaking of support, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of reviews on iTunes from my podcast, also called Professionally Silly. So hold on one second. All right, so for those of you that have eye products, you already have my podcast in your phone. This is the podcast app that's already there. So you just click on that, you go to search, you type in professionally silly, bam, hit the search button. What's up? There I am. Click that. And guess what? Your girl is right, jur. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna scroll down to the reviews. I only have 22 uh, ratings and about 10 reviews so far, but whatever, girl. I'm feeling good about it. Okay. So one of the reviews just says, uh, it says Amber is the best. Coming from Cali D underscore 95 says, love listening to your podcast. I never miss a podcast. I stay laughing and sometimes left on the edge of my seat. 
always worth a listen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, check it out. The links are down below. Let me scroll and get another one. Another one says, just plain amazing. That's coming from data do one, two, three, four, five. I mean like three simple words. Can't argue with that. All right, so this one says, this podcast is a blast, so much fun. From the super fun host, to the interesting topics, to the great sound quality, never a dull moment. All right, she gave me a 10 out of 10 must listen. And that's coming from another podcast called Dumb and Busted. They're pretty awesome, check them out. But yeah, guys, you, you don't wanna miss my podcast. It's pretty fire, professionally silly, down in the description box below. If I don't shout me out, who's going to? I'm hoping the Smile Squad would. All right, guys, that being said, I'll see you sexy people in the next one. Bye. Hey, did you call our neighbor Mrs. Johnson a bitch? Yeah, she changed the Wi-Fi password. Yo, you can't be... That bitch changed the Wi-Fi password? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> shit, that make, make you pussy throb right I, there. <laughs> I was, I swear I to God, like, oh, I whoa, was just I, about to say my pussy's throbbing. <laughs> The clitoris has 8,000 nerve endings, and it still isn't as sensitive as some of you bitches on the internet. Garlic powder and gasoline.